What's up? This is Colton Kelly. Uh, first episode of Colton Kelly in Cars Getting Coffee. Um, this is for my digital storytelling class. Shout goes out to Mr. Kennedy. Um, I love the class. I'm excited just to like show you what I got in terms of, you know, like amateur filmmaking and like kind of telling a story in a digital world. And uh, so today, um, just before we get into it, and I introduce my guest, I just want to say, um, update on the pig roast. We're still looking at July 30th. Uh, Slater's still in a little bit of hot water, uh, but the frat is good. Fidel is thriving, and we're raising a lot of money for like philanthropy and shit like that. So it's going to be pretty sick. Um, and uh, you see, I got on the Harambe hat. Shout out to Barstool for sending this to me. Barstool, hopefully you pick this video up. You could share it. Um, just kind of spread it around on social media, uh, whatever. So yeah, it's essentially Colin Kelly and Cars Getting Coffee based on Comedians and Cars Getting Coffee by Jerry Seinfeld. Shout out Jerry Seinfeld, you're my man. I love Curb Your Enthusiasm, dude, you're hilarious. Uh, so we're just kind of taking the inspo from that. So we're gonna get into it, but it's like the whole thing is like, yeah, we talk about partying, we have fun, uh, and I interview other college kids, but like we also have like a like a side piece of like American history and like identity and shit like that, you know? So it's like, what does it mean to be an American? And like people telling their stories about like what it means to them to be an American. And uh, today my my guest is Rob Matthews. Uh, he lives in the same hall as me, just a couple doors down. And uh, his father is from Waco, or his grand, your grandfather, right? Grandfather. His grandfather is from Waco, Texas. And so he's gonna tell us about, you know, his experience, uh, like knowing his grandfather, who knew about the Waco siege and which is if you don't know what the Waco siege is we'll get into it so you want to introduce yourself man yeah I'm a Rob Matthews uh, I'm a sophomore at Quinnipiac uh, I... cue you yep I, I live down the hall from Colton uh, English literature major with a focus in contemporary Irish fiction. I are you Irish or some shit? <laughs> uh, yeah, like cult, yeah, like my my ans like my ancestors. I'm I was like raised Irish Catholic. All right. Um, yeah, I uh, I play violin. I uh, <laughs> I went to I, uh, yeah. I just didn't know you got down like that, Rob. Anyway, go on. Uh, went to uh, Fordham Prep in the Bronx for high school. Uh, it's an all boys Catholic high school. Uh, I was on the all boys, huh? Yeah, it's like a historically all boys Christian school. Um, yep. Uh, was on the uh, uh, campus ministry there. Uh, helped lead a lot of retreats for the freshmen, sophomores, and juniors. Led the Emmaus retreat and. Uh, Yeah, hoping to get into, you know, writing. Ultimately, trying to write my own novels. So, sick, 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 sick. Yeah, it's cool. So, uh, what kind of like writing stuff? Like, what? Who are some of your favorite writers? Uh, I really love uh, James Joyce. Uh, I consider one of the one of the greatest, if not the greatest, uh, contemporary writer. Yeah, uh, he wrote *The Road Less Traveled*, right? No, that was. No, he didn't. Are you sure, man? I'm pretty sure I remember that. No, he wrote... you know, Portrait of the Artist as a Young Man, Ulysses. He's an Irish writer. I think you wrote Road Less Traveled, man. Whatever. Shout goes out to my uh, my poetry teacher from Frost. a couple years back. Oh, that was Robert Frost. It was Robert Frost. Damn. Yo, you know what's crazy about that is Robert Frost wrote that, and uh, shit was crazy. He was like, uh, he only wrote it because he was just trying to like impress this girl, and People read it, and you know about that? Yeah, that's not true. What, you, what do you mean? He wrote it because it was a passionate story about, is it more important to take the road that many people have taken in life, or is it important to forge your own path and find yourself, you know, find your own way and find yourself through something that many would consider unconventional? All right, anyway, so your grandfather is from Waco, Texas? Yeah, my grandfather... Uh, he immigrated here uh, in the uh, 1930s and uh, went to Chicago for a while and then in his adult life uh, moved down to Texas to get involved uh, in oil rigs because that's where he... You ever seen There Will Be Blood? 
Yeah, it's like that. It's a great movie. That is a sick, 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 sick. Yeah, it's a, you know, it's a phenomenal film. Uh, Paul Thomas Anderson is one of the great, you know, visual artists. You ever seen a uh, shooter with Mark Wahlberg? Shout goes out to Wahlberg. What up? Uh, I actually, no, I didn't see shooter. It's good. He basically just plays like a sniper. Okay. Is that like um, Enemy at the Gates? That's a great movie. I don't know. I've never seen that. It's about a, a Russian sniper and a German sniper. In Russians World. are crazy, dude. They fucking... Thanks for the vodka. Shout out to Russians, too. Yeah, they're a real threat to our democracy right now. It's... So anyway, with, uh, with Waco, so tell us a little bit about that. About my grandfather's experience in Waco, Texas? Yeah, with the, with the whole, what was it, David Koresh and uh, Branch Davidians. With the Waco siege? Is that what you're asking The Waco about? siege, yeah. Okay, I mean, my grandfather was in Texas at that time, but he had, had nothing really to do with the Waco siege. He was... Well, you could just tell us about, like, your grandfather was, like, a good American and, like, what he thought it meant to be an American and, like... Yeah, so he was probably... He was retired at that point from... Uh, he worked in an oil rig for many years and made enough money to, that he could support his family in uh, Waco, especially at that time. Um, you know, certainly there was some uh, debt from uh, the way the Reagan, Reagan handed, handled taxes in the 80s. Uh, oh, like trickle-down economics, right? No. No. That was Reagan, man, I'm telling you. I took an economics class, macroeconomics 101. Shout out to Mr. Roebling. Uh, that's actually the dean, you know, Dean Roebling? Yeah. That's Dean Roebling's cousin. Shout out to Mr. Roebling, uh, macroeconomics 101. Shout out. Yeah, we learned about, like, Keynesian economic theory and, like, essentially, like, what it meant to, like, be an economist in today's world and, like, what that means. A lot of people kind of get it twisted. It's really more just about, like... It's not like stock trading and shit like that. It's more just like theory. Um, so shout goes out to uh, Roebling for that class. Yeah, uh, I'm, I, I'm just not much of an economics guy, I guess. Me neither. I study CIS, but you have to take it for the core. You got to take. Shout out to Quinnipiac for putting together a solid core. Killing everybody's got to take economics. I'm not an economics guy either, man. Unless I do CIS, computer information system. I'm gonna move out to Silicon Valley when I graduate. Yeah, I did. Uh, I just trick logged. Shout out to my parents putting me through college. Um, anyway, yeah, so what's up? So who was your dad knew David Koresh? No, my what, my, what are you talking about? No, my grandfather lived, not even in Waco. He lived outside, just outside of Waco. And he would have been there when the siege was happening. Yeah, shot goes out to Philip Seymour Hoffman. Shot goes out to Philip Seymour Hoffman. Shot goes out to Philip Seymour Hoffman. Yeah, we're almost getting ready to wrap up, but I just, last section is, you know, any sort of questions that you might have for me, man, about, like, like anything I can answer, like, so something about, like, campus life, or, you know, like, if, like if the, what the brothers kind of get up to, you know, and, like, what the deal is with Peaches on the Beach, which is our August event, like, is it still happening, and, like, who do you want to see perform at Spring Fest? Well, why are we... <laughs> Why are we sitting in your hot car with the windows rolled up in the middle of June? I think it would be question number one. It's like uh, sort of like an homage to Jerry Seinfeld. Jerry, if you're watching this, shout out to you. Like comedian, you ever see comedians in cars getting coffee? No, I haven't. I have no idea what this has been a reference to. I don't. It's like basically like Jerry Seinfeld and like a bunch of comedians like Daniel Tosh, Dan Cook, Anthony Jeselnik. Like all the greats like will like sit in their hot car, Jerry Seinfeld's hot car. And they'll just kind of talk about like comedy and like what it means to be a comedian. I think I could do comedy. Like, if you barstool, if you're seeing this, like, pick me up. I would love to do some shit for you guys, and so that's why we're in the car. Okay, so you mean to tell me that Jerry Seinfeld, the most successful comedian in the world, has a web series where he gets another famous comedian to sit in his hot car with the windows rolled up while he interviews them about some of America's greatest tragedies? And that's what you're basing your web project on. It's not just a web project, it's for my digital storytelling class. Again, shout out to Mr. Kennedy, but yeah, that's what oh, we're basing God. it off of. Shout out to Jerry Seinfeld. He's an innovator. You ever watch Seinfeld? Yeah, I've seen Seinfeld. Shit is hilarious. It's funny. It's very, yeah, it's funny. Well, at least we could agree on that. Thanks for coming, man. If you need a ride back, you need a ride back? Where are you going? I'm going, 
I'm going back to campus because you drove 15 miles in one direction on a straight road, parked outside of someone's house, turned the car off, and rolled the windows up. Well, that's what they do on the show with Jerry Seinfeld, so that's why I wanted to... It's like an homage to him. Shout out, Seinfeld. So I'll take you back. We'll get going. Thank you. All right, I'm going to take this fucker back to campus, man. Thanks again for coming out. Uh, I'm going to hit up the liquor store because we're doing kegs for eggs again tonight. Uh, Slater's back at the house. Uh, we're still in a little hot water, so try to, if you're coming through, don't bring too many people. Bring a bunch of, a bunch of girls. And uh, you want to just queue up the iPod, we'll get going. Just play it. You like this kind of shit? What is this? <laughs> campus. You drove 15 miles on a straight road away from campus and just parked outside a house and rolled the windows up. Well, that's what they do on the show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, it's so hot here, but we have to get you know, that. We have to get it. Yeah. <laughs> that's what they do on the show. <laughs>